So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you guys can get a lot more FPS in Fortnite Chapter 5. I'm basically going to be going over different ways on how you guys can actually boost your FPS. So after watching this video and pretty much using every single step or tip that I show you guys, you're going to be going from like 80 FPS to like 120 FPS. So this should honestly give you a pretty good boost. And your fps will be a lot more consistent and you won't have a lot of frame drops so if you're not getting the fps that you should be getting please follow along with this video low end pcs to high end pcs this video will help you guys out if you guys want to get a huge fps boost i'm also going to be showing us the best settings that i think you guys should be using in fortnite there's a lot of people out there are using settings that they shouldn't even be using some of the settings they're like using aren't even really that necessary so yeah i'm gonna show you guys the best settings to get fps i know a lot of people are experiencing a lot of stutters a lot of frame drops in the fortnite chapter 5 this video i'll be showing you guys how you guys can pretty much get rid of all of that but if you guys quickly could just please drop a like on this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already and please click that bell icon so you guys get notified whenever i upload but anyways let's just get straight into this video all right so the first tip that i have for you guys is actually going to your fortnite settings so as you guys can see these are the settings that i have inside of fortnite and the settings that i'm going to pretty much show you guys is pretty much going to give you the best performance possible that you can pretty much have in fortnite so yeah these are the best settings for performance and for your display mode make sure you're on full screen mode and make sure your resolution is 1920 by 1080 make sure you have vsync off and if your frame rate limit this pretty much just depends on how much hertz your monitor has so i have 165 hertz so that's why i'm using 165 there's really no need to go over your hertz on your monitor since it really doesn't matter but the most important thing is going to come down to your rendering mode and that's going to be the performance mode that i have on as you guys can see so pretty much performance mode is pretty much the best thing that you could have because it literally says it in the name it literally says it in the name right over here but anyways uh the other thing you just want to go and look at is the graphics quality for the performance mode so you're not going to have a lot of options just because it already kind of cuts out the other things that you're going to need so um pretty much everything's going to be off or everything's going to be on low or near as you guys can see so you really don't need to go much higher if you want the best performance possible because you want to have the lowest settings possible in the game so if you want the better performance then you go so if you want better performance then you go lower settings so um another thing that you guys could do if you guys aren't already getting like the best uh fps that you guys should be getting is by going again go to your settings and then where you see 3d resolution so it also says it right here um lower 3d resolution will also give you a increase on the frame limit right here as you can see i wouldn't go zero percent just because your game's gonna look really weird so for your 3d resolution i will go like more than 60 percent so like 70 percent will be good so that's another great way to actually increase your frame limits but yeah that's pretty much all i have for the first tip and that's pretty much in your fortnite settings so the second tip is going to be having stretched resolution so stretch res actually does help a lot for your fps and i actually did do a video on this as you guys can see in the top right of the screen there should be like an eye icon and you guys can just click on that and i pretty much show a quick tutorial on how to get stretch res but anyways having stretch res is actually great if you actually want like a huge fps boost just because whenever you do use stretch res you are going on a lower resolution and a lower resolution is going to give you a much better performance and again better performance equals better fps so if you don't already use uh stretch res i highly recommend using it um i think it's one of the best ways to actually get a fps boost um not only do you get an fps boost but it actually does help with the input delay so um it's a really great uh great uh thing to use if you want a good fps and your game also looks pretty good whenever you use stretch res so yeah i feel like whenever you use stretch res your game's just gonna run a lot more smoother so i highly recommend using stretch res if you don't already have it on and it's also not hard to get just make sure you watch that video but yeah move on to the next tip all right so once you open up your task manager you want to go click the open navigation and you want to go to details so as you can see, once you go to details, make sure you go to your Fortnite client. And then what you want to do is you want to right click it and you want to go and click on set priority. And then you pretty much want to uh, set the priority to high. So as you can see, it's going to like show something like that. And then once you do that, just change the priority and then it's going to give you the best performance for Fortnite because the priority is going to be like, it's basically going to run Fortnite a lot better than all the other apps you have running in the background. So yeah, that's just a quick little way to increase some FPS in Fortnite. All right, so the easiest way you can actually boost your FPS is of course just by getting better parts for your PC. So just get a new GPU, get a new CPU, get any like just new thing for your PC. 
Um, that's the most simplest thing you guys could do to uh, boost your FPS. So if you have like the 1660 GPU, I would just get like a new GPU because that one's kind of old. It's kind of outdated. Yeah, you want to probably get new parts if your PC is running a little, you know, a little slow. Because the main thing that you need is just a GPU. Of course, a CPU too, but you really want to prioritize on that GPU. That's pretty much what's running your entire PC, or at least when it comes to gaming. So yeah, better PC, more FPS. All right, so another way you guys can get some more FPS, um, this is a quick method you guys can do, and that is just by kind of clearing up your PC. So try to have as much space as possible and try to just get rid of all those apps that are running in the background. So whenever you're playing a game, there are actually some apps that like still run in the background and that can actually drop some of your FPS. So just go to your, just go to your apps and then turn off all the apps that run in the background. So yeah, that's another great way to actually boost your FPS. So don't have anything running in the background besides your game and maybe Discord if you use it. All right, so the last method that I have to get, you know, as much FPS as possible is make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date. So uh, make sure you update them like whenever they need an update. Um, and if you don't know when they need an update, just go to your driver and then just click on check for updates. And then it may need an update. And if it does need an update, make sure you update it because the most recent updated drivers give you the best performance for your graphics card. So yeah, that's another great way to, you know, boost your FPS. So make sure your graphic uh, drivers are up to date. Another thing you could do is go to your graphic, uh, your graphics driver um, panel and then just use some settings in there. Um, I don't know the exact settings, but there should be like this optimization where it basically finds the best settings for your PC. So it could give you the best performance possible. Like I believe NVIDIA does actually have like some boost that you could actually enable. I don't know too much about AMD. But that's pretty much all the tips that I really have. So yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to close out today's video. So to be honest, it really just depends on how your PC is. So if you have a low end PC around like five, six hundred dollars, something like that, you're obviously not going to get like the best performance possible, but it really just depends on your PC. Even if you try to do like all these things, it really just comes down to your PC. It really just comes down to what your graphics card is what your cpu is you know how much ram you have because that's pretty much what's running your game and obviously you know it makes sense you know the cheaper your pc is the less fps you're going to be getting but you could do these fps you know things that i showed you guys and it could actually help it by a bit but don't expect to go from like 100 fps to like 300 fps or maybe even 200 fps because it really just depends on how good your pc is but yeah anyways you know hopefully Hopefully it did give you somewhat of some, uh, you know, FPS boost. If it did, make sure you comment down below on like what was your before and what was your after, you know, because that's pretty interesting to see on how, you know, it improved your FPS. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.